All right, we're watching this replay that uh, another sentence replay that Tagada just sent us. Mm. Yeah, Zuck, Zuck used to come back. <laughs> Not anymore. I bomb Tagada, Yudi? <laughs> Yudi says no, Foldy says okay, yes then. <laughs> okay, Foley is going first bomber. Versus his 1700 opponent, Lime. Tiger is on rock. The eleven, I don't know who that is. Is the air player Sneed on beach here versus Francis on rock? Raddy, Rad raid. So quite an even matchup on the. Air and then we got yeah you so this is quite interesting actually setup wise I mean you probably prefer the top team I think <laughs> with Foley UD well F Francis you never know here's the bomber nice micro oh that that bomb was not uh, too effective but two kills already the bomber turns around. He's gonna get another kill, there's no dodging. T1 anti air comes out, gets a couple of shots away. That's a kill? No, that's a dodge, is it? Yeah, that's a dodge. A bit of a lucky dodge, I think. Oh no, don't turn. Oh, it's dead. Damn, he actually could have got the other engineer, but. Goes down. One anti air is pretty strong. Should play a game and show how it's done. I mean, you know, I'm not going to show Foley how to first bomber, that's for sure. He knows how it's done. And I'm not going to show Yudi how to play Navy. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I couldn't even show this guy how to play air, to be honest. Pro probably not. <laughs> Tiger is saying don't manually I mean why not manually send to the rock player it's not like you're using attack moves the point is you don't manually send it to the air player so that he doesn't lose all of his his uh, attack moves but you should just say thank you very much you're using attack moves where I mean this guy's building a max this guy's building a max this guy's building a max. This guy's building a factory. <laughs> UD is the friend. <laughs> uh, stop trolling. <laughs> Two ACUs peacefully cleaning up the trash, indeed. Few shots exchanged. Actually, Lime's shot so many times. Like, look, look how low Eat Foley is. All that means is that Foley just got way more, way more ass. So that's pretty bad. He was he was idle with the commander, probably because he was being bombed or he's trying to fix his economy after getting bombed. 
Yeah, that's a nice line of factories. Oh. GPG, man. Feels GPG. <laughs> UD salt is nice. It's uh, very visceral. It's a bit. It's a bit much for most people, I would say. Surprising that he's not banned more often. <laughs> Rip the transport. I don't know how that one inti was flying in the middle of five other intis and still killed the transport. It's just a meme, probably. Well, whatever you want to believe. If it's not Feather, the question has to be, who is it? Because it's not a new player. <laughs> that is for sure. Looks like Tiger lost his transport. It also landed on the head of his engineer, so they're all 50 HP. Antir goes up to force the Inti's away. Looks like he didn't really need that though. Nice building a naval factory. He can walk and edge build a factory, or he could replace the transport. Oh yeah, he actually has already. Still debatable. Not debatable for some people. Uh, Anyway, who cares if it's Feather or not? They don't act like the Feather that got banned. And that's how it will probably remain. So the Feather you knew is dead. Reformed Feather, that might be the most sensible comment. Let's see. Who's gonna win air between these two 1600s? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know either of these guys. I have never seen their names. That's a P-Gen. Ooh. Fair bit later here. For the bottom player. He's got, what, three T1 Mexes still? He's actually got some storages here. He's probably building too many engineers. Should stop, you should already have stopped building engineers. And you should probably control K the factory. Instead of building more. Well, oh, denied. <laughs> yeah, witness protection program. I thought we had to be protected from his salt though. Here's Foley in the water. What's he making? He's making T2 on his Aeon commander. Limes is getting reclaimed. So Foley's going to come out of the water and get some PDs up. Take control of middle. Tagada complaining about BS. Oh, Yudi's dropped the island. You know what I think? If Tagada had walked to the island to build a factory, I think he would have already had a factory long ago. You should not miss the old feather. He's... Yeah, you shouldn't. Um, okay, Yudi has, has the island. Where's the anti-air though? Okay, here, he's actually building it right now. Denied, but mobile enter comes out. All right, see Gareth. So what's Tagada's plan here to get the island back? Oh, he's gonna calm drop his his island to get it back, that should work. I mean, you can't really do anything against it as UD. Except invest, you know, way too much. 
to. I mean, you can't. I mean, he could. He can't really stop it. At, at nine minutes, you can't stop a T two com drop to your opponent's island. Like, so. Tagging will take it back, but this is a severe, pretty severe hit to him. And the Foley has actually already begun investing in navy in the top ocean so Foley wants to crush top navy fast yeah I don't see any other reason why he would invest so quickly <laughs> what a big turn <laughs> what <laughs> you saying yeah can't do anything of course so Yeah, he just reclaims the factory. He's gonna reclaim everything he can before it. Uh, before the ACU arrives. Francis advised UD to build a transport, build a factory under the ACU, which is, um, you know. An exploit that will ban get you banned. Sixth place as rock, yeah, it's it's fascinating. I mean, you know, like three K mass behind the enemy rock player who has no island. Four K, sorry, three K mass behind the enemy beach player. That's really impressive statistic, and all that for two frigates. So, <laughs> I don't know how many people you can trick with that, UD. <laughs> A few at least. Janus, why are there Janus attacking Aeon frigates? Yeah, Tagada is in horrible trouble. He needs to make some tarp defense. He needs to make stuff with his commander, mainly. Factories. He needs to line this thing with factories, get PDs, a uh, uh, torp defense. What happens if you build a fac under com? Well, if you're dropping something and you land on a building that's under construction, the you explode, whether it's units, any kind of unit or the commander will explode if they land on something that's under construction so you can just as a tr uh, commander is being dropped put a factory under them and they'll land on it and explode and it's uh, well it's totally busted so it's it's a bannable thing because it's just a really dumb mechanic some things are features, some things are bugs or just busted. So this is one of the things that's just too busted. PDs are up, or torp defense is up, but they're going down. Oh, he's making T2 torp launcher as well. Needs more factories now at this point. Okay. Engineers dropped. No more frigates in the area. What's up, Andrew, mate? Yeah, we're we're getting a lot of videos out <laughs> and some streams. So, yeah, does Foley ever eco? He does, but not often. He prefers to attack. Are there more mana fences? Uh. Yes, there are. There's a list of exploits, bannable exploits on the forum, I think. Okay, these two frigates come in. They're going to be suicided, so... But at the cost of all of these engineers, so... Build a factory! He could be building. Could have finished that. Oh, he got out of range of the PDs, actually, now. Killed all the engineers. That's pretty good. A lot of torpedoes coming in. Taggart is having to invest so much, and there will probably T2 Navy is coming. Yeah, there's T2 Navy. Is there a destroyer out? 
No, there's a cruiser. And there's just shards coming out from Foley. Um Oh, run away. Okay, so the red air player, the bottom air player seems to be doing doing a good job like allowing Tagata to get himself back into the water or stay in the water, I should say. Yeah, shard, you know, it could be better, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how cheap it is though. 120 mass, like it costs nothing, to be honest. But yeah, it is missing quite a lot here. Uh, yeah, Tagata is streaming quite a bit. Um. This is only the second time you've seen Foley on Settens. Bully, what are you doing with your life? Why are you not watching Settens? Yeah, I'm not saying they're good, I'm just saying they're cheap. That's all. Maybe you could make them build, build faster, you know? Reduce the build time. Their build time is not that... That's actually quite a long build time for their cost. Hmm. Build time... But yeah. YOLO's here as well. Yeah, control king your base before the nuke is bannable because you can... You know get all the reclaim from your base if you time it right it's not difficult to time obviously so that's also busted UD where's the shields where's the shields for the cruisers that's what he needs Instantly double your cruiser HP with one mobile shield. It's a good deal. It's a great deal. That's a nice kill. When it happens. Bottom air player saying he can't go here. Because there are cruisers. There's flak. There's shards. Yeah, it takes a while. It does. But you know, when I looked, you were making flak. So, you know, there's a shield. It takes way longer if you don't if you don't move it, though. This is why it takes 50 minutes, I think. It's because it's like uh, completely stationary. <laughs> Am I missing an air fight? Ooh! Oh god, that that went really poorly. That is an ugly emote. Okay. This looks very bad now. <laughs> uh, what? Feather has Rasus to use now. On T2 economy. One, two, three, four, five, six. How does he have so many T2 Mexes? And he has he has RAS SUs. What is he doing? It has Sam on board. Yeah, uh, those can't shoot from underwater. So that's really useless to make. T3 land in the middle from Lime. He also has full T2 economy. Wait. 
Where's his factory? Oh, here it is at the front. He has titans. That's not a good place for a factory. This is a terrible place for a factory. Those titans just walked into a commander and PDs. So they're all dead. That's a nice 1k mass delivered or more even to the enemy commander. And not the greatest move from from our mid player. Oh my god. What's happening here? Tagged it with so many torps. He's got a couple of cruisers. Is he going to make? He's just making lots of navy. He's got no T3 economy. One T3 max coming. Graphics card has problems watching the stream. Damn. Okay, brutal air win above cruisers. I mean, hmm, poor Tagada. Any any help? His air player is just getting absolutely crushed. I mean, this is insane. Bottom pond. Feather is making Rassesses with Sams on them that can't shoot from underwater and uh, Tag is losing the eco in his main base. Oh, the teeth, the t even his P-Gens are going to die. Scout bottom, maybe I can crush. <laughs> Feather has only frigates and he's thinking he can crush. Feather, look, frigates only. 50 frigates. He's like, maybe I can crush with my Rassesies. What? Let's stop using it then. UD. Five Titans have somehow snuck past. Oh, well, they actually killed some stuff on the way past. Uh, that's... Uh, how, how does he stop those? <laughs> Lime asking for a P-Gen. He kind of needs it for the shield on the Titans. Oh my god. How do five Titans just get past? And... <laughs> he could kill everything here with five Titans easily. He should. Lime saying he'll be dead very soon. But, I mean, he can kill everything. With the Titans. This Was there an extremely good fight here for Tagata? It looks like it. I think we lost some destroyers for UD, but UD did huge damage with them already, so it's not the worst thing. Yep. Oh my god. Killing everything. You should kill... Yeah, you can kill all the mechs. You can kill the HQ. Every, everything. Nobody's reacting. Finally, some T1 bombers from the air player. Some gunships would be better. Tagada fighting it out. Oh, harms in the water. Jesus. Needs to use the cruisers on that to take it out. I don't know if he can see where it is. You can see the, the new one being built. <laughs> these. These Titans, though. He actually missed the mechs here, unfortunately. He, didn't, he could have killed everything, but uh, he's moving on to the airbase and UD's T3 mechs. Oh no. Bomber's gonna do some friendly fire as well, maybe. Yep. Not bad. That'll help. <laughs> the first Titans were terrible. These Titans are absolute kings, though. Arty drop. No micro. It's getting reclaimed, but there's only two engineers, so they're not gonna reclaim fast enough. Is there another T3 mechs about to die? Is the airbase gonna lose some... some things? 
Uh, those titans are... Oh. There's so many attacks to watch. Oh my god. 5,200, 5,500 mass kills. He actually is going to lose a P-Gen here. Hey, what's up, True? Uh, there's still four Arctis alive. No way. He's actually gonna... He's actually gonna kill this, isn't he? Oh, he's repairing with one engineer. No, it's not gonna die. It's saved. 6,000 mass. 7,000 mass killed. Holy shit. These artillery still have not chewed through the Aeon T3 Mexes. But they're getting there. Battle cruisers up in the top ocean, main base still absolutely crushed by destroyers once again. Yeah, if he had the two Titans on the P Gen, like on either side, he would have killed the P Gen, yeah, with the bombers for sure. Two T3 Mexes down, all the storages, another one gonna this one is definitely gonna go down. There's still there's no, why are there no bombers? There's no gunships either. This is insane. Battle cruiser is maybe lacking some shields. There's only one shield here, another one coming. Oh battleship is up. And Yuri pauses T3 Navy at 95% except for this guy. This guy's like, no, we have to, we have to make T3 Navy. But instead, he's making a, a Tempest. And his mechs is saved. Amazing. And then that air scout gets bombed as well, just for good measure. What's going on at the bottom? Well, Feather seems to just have torpedo defense. And that's all. Who would win? Four players or five speedy boys? Strong BC micro. He has 3,800 mass killed. That doesn't seem too strong. I sense a little bit of sarcasm there. Oh, more titans running through now. Oh, the mid base. This looks scary now. And Lime only has T2. If he had T3, I would feel a lot better. But the, the navy from Tagad is nowhere near. He's he's scared of the torps, of the arms. That's a lot of gunships actually killing all the titans. Turning it into a mass donation. Killing one T2 p -gen is hardly relevant. So many gunships. The air player on the top team is just f doing way, way more for his team than the bottom bottom player, who's only now getting ARAS. No, he's getting T3 actually. RAS SEUs, T2, <laughs> T2. Freaking eco on the island. Does anything not do friendly fire? Uh, T1 artillery does not do friendly fire. Uh, Percy's don't do friendly fire. Uh, a lot of things don't do friendly fire. But. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's like half and half between friendly fire and no friendly fire. I don't know exactly all the all of the stats, but like air units do friendly fire, like air to ground units, basically. If they have any AOE, that's a dead battleship to uh, some frigates. Need has some strats. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Oh, they're cyber and stealth strats. No, they're not. What the hell? Why does he have Aeon strats and he's cyber? 
And how are they just sneaking past everything if they're Aeon? I'm so confused. And he only has two, so he can't actually kill a T3 P gen in one pass. He needs... Oh, he's sniping the T SMD. Oh my god. Unshielded SMD. And he has a nuke just loaded. And that is the end of the airbase. Tries to bomb whatever else he can. Uh, really? It's, it's irrelevant. He just <laughs> killed... <laughs> he just killed... The unshielded SMD. Launches his nuke. Kills Feather's battleship at the same time. Gonna kill another battleship. There's what? Three harms? Fourth one under construction that, that might not even finish. Oh no, it will actually finish. And uh, UD, not sure how he lost all his maxes. Well, it, w it was basically magic. Tagada just holding on for dear life. You gotta respect the, how he's holding on. That's a lot of dead engineers there. Uh, holy crap, those gunships are just killing all of middle now there's going to be nothing left if he takes his air fight he's going to lose horribly let's watch the nuke land shall we every single bit of the grid is gone Hey, at least he has Ras. That's about all he has. So now, yeah, this is just the exact worst time to fight air. So you should just wait. He should he should have made some Sams around the place at least. But that was an epic move by Sneed. He's winning Navy versus Feather while making a nuke, while sniping the SMD in the airbase. Uh, all from beach. Literal gods need. I know. How, like, like, how does he fly up here and then through your base and around the back to snipe the like? What is that? I was sure they were cyber and strats because how else could they possibly get there? And then they're they're aeon ridiculous but uh, yeah there go oh my god two t3 mechs is there finally some there's some anti-air these are the only engineers the only build power in all of this base now oh, some here as well and Tagata is still holding on still has he has three battleships and two BCs so he's still holding on something just exploded it was a rascom And he's going for a second Rascom. And I think he's going to get it. He... Oh my god, his battleships are up the top now. He's just gone around all of the torpedo defense because there's really nothing else. The, the HQ is dead. And his base is going to go down to the battleships. Foley is going to take damage from the battleships as well. The gunships continue to kill what's left of Tiger's main base. Another Rascom goes down. UD wondering who the rock player is. <laughs> Give arms the same movement as. Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, that's a very late SMD in it. That's being assisted. Well, this is quite interesting. the The air player here he's focused on getting the SMD up again. He actually has two SMD now. Still, you will note no shields. But also, he's extremely slow getting his air production up. It seems. Wait, how are these on low HP? Oh, because he built on top of them, and they aren't completely overkilled. 
UD calls GG probably looking at his air player and did I miss an air fight or something? no I didn't where's the air player's ASF? did you control K on his ASF? Gary Thompson subscribed Thank you. Well, Sneed is clearly the MVP of this game. Master 2 0 subscribed. Welcome. See you at Iraq event. The Titans from Lime were also amazing. That was very cool. Andrew May has subscribed. Suddenly everyone's subscribing. Welcome. Oh. Ronald Steinen has subscribed. Ryan Lynn subscribed. And Feather continues to play on. <laughs> Farm subscribed, yeah, okay. <laughs> Farm's wondering where I got the chat display. I will send you a link. Found a YouTube video, then saw a comment on that YouTube video, and that's where I got it. <laughs> Good old copy paste. But yeah, I mean, it's just for YouTube, so unless you're gonna planning on uh, streaming on YouTube, it's not gonna help you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If you continually do it, I don't know if it continues to work. But it does seem to work that way. <laughs> Good old Francis. Hey, a member. Pyro. Pyro? Pyro? Thank you for becoming a member. Hey, the alert worked actually. They weren't working yesterday. Or, no, not yesterday, the day before. We have our third member. <laughs> 